At the end of the sampler effects chain outputs video, I mentioned that you should pay attention to clipping on the volume meters there, as well as the track post mixers, but especially in the sampler effects chains because it's very easy to forget that they're actually there, and they give you a nice visual indicator of the volume. But what I didn't know back then is there is no actual audio clipping happening, even if the meters show it as redlining. This is literally just a visual indicator of what it is the volume is doing. Now you might think the track headroom option in the song options panel might be playing a role here, but this has no effect. This is just for lowering the volume of tracks overall so that when you combine them in the master track, you have more headroom to play with. And you can test this out by adding loads of gainers. And if you enable the auto gain button, which will automatically lower the master tracks post mixer in response to what is the volume is doing there, you will see that there is no clipping happening at all. So what the volume meters are really doing is just giving you this visual indicator of what the volume is doing. And it's especially useful when in the mixer tab. Each track and sampler effects chain, they're just individual values of what the volume is with no limit. And it's only when processed together in the master track that clipping can actually take place. I don't know the exact details of what happens, there's probably some floating point stuff going on, but what I do know is when everything is combined together, the final audio has a bit depth of 32 bits and it has an upper limit of 0 dB. And when you go beyond this, you do get audio clipping. You can even see this on the track scopes. Only on the master track can you see clipping where it is lined up at the top and the bottom, giving you a visual indicator of clipping. On the tracks, nothing happens. It just goes beyond bounds and you see no lines at the top or bottom. This might seem like a small point, but it is really important to know what's happening within your mix. And it is that clipping does not happen in the sampler effects chains or the tracks. It only ever happens in the master track.